what we have here are two bedrooms with a hallway in the middle. So for those who were here last year, we did a sprinkler prop where we showed one room without a sprinkler and one room with a sprinkler and how little, very little damage was done to the room with a sprinkler, but the room without the sprinkler burned up and we had a lot of heat and fire and we wanted to show the importance of sprinklers. But we also wanted to show what's something that you can all take home today, which is if you close your bedroom door, it can save your life when you sleep. Now I understand I have a three-year-old at home. I know it's hard. We don't like to close doors, baby monitors, but uh, our purpose today is to show you the difference. Uh, well, the plan here, and this is our first time doing this project to demonstrate to you, is we spent last year planning on how we could do a demonstration to demonstrate the difference between a door open and a door closed. So you all get to be the guinea pigs to watch us try to demonstrate this for you. So, as you can look here, this room has the door closed. This room is a hallway, like a hallway in your home. The idea is, the fire could be elsewhere in your home. It could start in your downstairs, it could start in another room, it could start in the hallway. People who charge batteries, lithium ion batteries, be very careful, don't charge those unless you're awake. All right, they could be in your hallway, a scooter, we see those things. So these things happen, fire starts, it comes down the hallway towards your bedrooms. Smoke detectors hopefully going off, getting you out of that house before we even have this problem. But, if you're in your bedroom, the door's shut and you can't get on that hallway because we check that door for heat. If it's hot, we don't do what to it. We don't open a hot door, right? So if the door's hot and you can't open it, that door's gonna protect you and we're gonna come to the window as the firefighters and we're gonna get you out, okay? So that's what we want to do. So we're going to show you why closing that door is so important. So we have our firefighters here in all their gear ready to put the fire out. So what's going to happen so nobody's scared? We have a fire that's going to start in that hallway. And if we do our jobs, it's going to go into this bedroom here and not into this bedroom because the door is shut. It's going to burn really hot in this room. And then this plexiglass is going to, leak, is going to melt down. And when that happens, you're going to see the fire get really, the smoke's going to get really black and dark. That plexiglass is going to melt down and a rush of fire is going to come out. You're going to feel some heat here in the front row, okay? It's going to be like being right up close to a campfire. All right, so I don't want you to be scared. We have all our firefighters here to protect you. But the people in the front, you're going to feel a little bit of heat, okay? And then as soon as it opens up and that fire comes out, our firefighters are going to go in and put it out. Everybody good? All right, so let's do a little test, right? I'm going to pull out my phone here. And we're going to start a timer. Because what I want to time is how long it takes the smoke detector to go off. Okay? Because there's a smoke detector in that hallway. So we have one of our firefighters around back. He's going to light that off now. So we use the straw for the purpose of demonstration, but that simulates all the things that can burn in your home. Okay, you see that smoke? Here we go. Eight seconds. It took eight seconds for that smoke detector to go off. Make sure your smoke detectors work. Eight seconds. You can still get out. So now we have a fire in the hallway. Where is it going to go? Is it going to go to the room on the, your right or the room on your left? Let's see what that door does. So let's watch. This is how fast fire progresses, okay? So we're only 30 seconds into this now. We're starting to build some heat in that hallway. Now fire looks to breathe. It's looking for a place to go. It needs to find the path to get air. So let's watch. Let's see what happens. So we're 50 seconds in now. We're less than a minute in from when the fire started. Can you see the fire in the back there? Now let's see what happens. That hallway is going to get more and more fire. It's going to go into that bedroom. So let's see if it goes into this one over here. Now remember, in, a, in a, your home, this will be a full wall, which will help keep the smoke out, okay? So you'll be able to keep the smoke out from your bedroom too with that door closed. So everybody see which way that fire is going? Which way is that fire going? That way, right? Why can't it go this way? Because the door is closed, right? Okay, let's keep watching. So right now, the fire is developing. It's building heat. 
is building and building heat. As the fire builds heat, it starts to go. It can double in size every minute, okay? So hopefully by now, the fire department's called. You're outside. You got your family fire drills done. You're out in your, your gathering place. You're all safe. When we get there, it's important that you tell us that everybody's out of the house, okay? You need to tell us that. Okay, so we got some fire going now. It's in that hallway. It's in that bedroom. We're two minutes in now. So this is two minutes. It's time to go into the nightstand. It's building heat up. You can see the change in the plexiglass color at the top. That's your heat building. We're two minutes and 40 seconds in now. So the fire is looking for fuel. It's going to keep going. It's going to keep looking for fuel. Okay, we're three minutes in now. Just three minutes. Remember, that smoke detector went off at eight seconds. Eight seconds in that hallway. All right, the fire is continuing to grow. Once it reaches a certain point, it's going to grow really quick. Three minutes and 30 seconds in. There's a lot of heat in that ceiling right now. That ceiling's probably over 1,000 degrees. That heat's building up. See the fire in the hallway still? Not going into that bedroom. Okay, see so you have a fire in the hallway, but we don't have a fire in the bedroom, right? Okay, so that fire is going to keep getting hotter and hotter. Look at that, here we go, let's get ready. We're gonna feel that heat soon. Here we go, check out the fire pattern. Four minutes and 30 seconds in. Look at all that fire, it's gonna come out at you soon. Get ready, the main line's gonna be ready to open. Here it comes, you're gonna feel the heat in a second. Get ready, get ready, here comes that heat. Here we go. It's going to melt that plexiglass any second. It's going to come right down. Here it goes. A little bit more. A little bit more. Do you feel the heat a little bit? There it goes. All right, let's put it out. Advance on it. We're going to go in and put it out. Now, if I was going in, making sure it's out. Now we're going to let the smoke clear from this and we're going to take a look at the two bedrooms and see the difference, okay? So what we do now at a fire is when we call overhaul, we go in and we make sure it's really out. 
if you stop moving and put uh, furniture around, make sure there's no hidden fire. What we're going to do is we're going to shut our lines down for a second, and we're going to take a look at the difference here, okay? Let's let the smoke clear. While we're letting the smoke clear, I have a few thank yous to make. So we have, we want to thank the Lions Club, Domino's, All Town Coffee, Ease Ice Cream, Bank of Eastern, Hilliards, Dana Barrows Basketball Club, Langwater Farm, Buddy's Union Villa, Eastern Children's Museum, Takeouts Pizza, West Side Graphics, Big Y, Roach Brothers, Shaw's, The Beanery, TMK, pa TMK Paving, who did the cars for us over here, and all those pumpkins, thank you. Signs by Tomorrow, Paint Rust of Pixie Dust, Maplewood Day Camp, Farmer's Daughter, Fernandes Lumber, Damon's Junk Card, provided the cars for us from Damon's, Baltazar, Entertainment. Our CERT team, our volunteers inside helping out all day, our CERT team, all the Reams, High school art students, Trooper J. Harris of the Massachusetts State Police and his partner, K-9 Koala. The Eastern Firefighters, of course, the Eastern Firefighters here today, our DPW, was a huge help for this exercise today. We appreciate their help. And also, anybody else who I failed to mention, we thank you. A special shout outs to Kathleen and Michelle. They're amazing. We made this happen today. So let's have a look at these rooms. How much damage is done to this room? A lot. a lot of damage, right? Okay, we're going to give you some room of sight so you can see it. All right. So did this room have the door open or closed? Open, right? Was this, this was the hallway. It had the fire when it started. Was there a lot of damage in here? Yeah. yeah. What about this one? No. no, right? So this room did its job. That door did its job. There was over a thousand degrees in this hallway that did not get into this room. All right? So the, what I want everybody to remember today is you saw how a simple thing like closing your door can make a huge difference in your home in an emergency, okay? So everybody understand? All right, let's give a huge round of applause for our firefighters. I'm gonna yell to my brother, close the door! All right, so we're gonna go back in and clean this up and do what we do. But I thank you all. Everything's gonna restart for you to come out and uh, keep going. We still have food and the activities inside. And uh, we'll be here till two o'clock. Thank you all for coming.